Hey, it's James the Forager here, and today we're embarking on a culinary adventure to make a mouthwatering dish. It's some wilted siasta with bassa. We'll dive straight into this flavorful recipe. Obviously, we have to head out and forage some siasta first, so we're going to head down to the coastal marshes. Don't panic, we have a full identification guide for this on our website, which you can head over to. Once we've got our basket of siasta, we'll get straight into the cooking, shall we? Let's cut some new potatoes in half. We'll bring a pan of salted water to the boil and we'll chuck in those potatoes. We're going to put them in there for about 10 minutes. We want them to soften nicely. While those potatoes are getting nice and cozy, it's time to create a salsa. So we'll grab a trusty pestle and mortar. You can also do this in a blender if you like, but I like it to be chunky and rustic. We'll toss in three cloves of garlic, peeled garlic, one red pepper, a little bit spicy, but nothing that blows your head off unless you like super spicy. And then we'll chuck in a generous handful of freshly chopped coriander. If you're down at the coast, you could have grabbed some sea coriander and that worked really nice in this too. And then we'll chuck in half a teaspoon of coarse rock salt, helps with the, uh, the grinding of all of this. And don't forget the zest and juice of one lemon. It's going to give your salsa a really nice zinc. Now, let's bash away, pound that mixture together until well and truly smashed. Once it's coming together, we're gonna to add two tablespoons of cider vinegar. We're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and one full chopped tomato. And we'll just give it a nice mix and that's it. Our salsa masterpiece is complete, ready for dishing. By now, the salsa is finished and it's time to give a little bit of love to those boiled potatoes. We'll drain them. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter and sprinkle plenty of salt and pepper over the top. If they're not soft enough yet, we can give them a little bit of a crush with the back of a fork too. The star of the show is coming up next, forage siasta. We're gonna grab a pan, pour a tiny little bit of water into it, and we'll chuck our siasta over the top too. We're gonna give it just three minutes to steam and tenderize before we remove it from the stove and squeeze over the juice of half a lemon. And that's it, that part's done. Last thing for this meal, we're gonna take a bowl, Chuck in a tiny bit of plain flour and generous amounts of salt and pepper. We're going to heat some cooking oil in a pan, and then we're going to dip the bassa in the seasoned flour, coating it lightly, and then place it straight into that hot pan, and we're going to fry it for about two minutes on each side. If you happen to have a barbecue, barbecuing this would be really, really good. In fact, doing all this down at the coast over barbecue would be perfect. And that's it. We're going to gather all these ingredients, all these elements we made, chuck them on a plate, and this flavor is going to be banging. Thanks for joining us. That's it. We're ready. Remember, Cooking Wild Foods is about embracing the joy of being outside.